first one is rounded. What does it mean to round something? Why do we round? Somebody, Lady Clark, round why? Okay, to make it easier. Easier and sometimes close is good enough. Uh, an example of that might be you know, you go and you buy, uh, what do you guys buy? Jane, what's something you bought in the last five years? Shoes. Anything big? Jane bought a pair of shoes. Jane, how much did these shoes cost? Uh, 40. Okay. Jaden right there around it, because I'm going to guess when he went to the cashier and picked, bought, bought those pair of shoes, the bill wasn't exactly 40. It was probably maybe it was $38.75, or maybe it was $43 or something. Jaden rounded his number, because I don't need to know that it was whatever, $35.23. or He's just giving me a number close, so I get a good idea. Well, $40 is a reasonable price for a pair of shoes. So that's what rounding is good for. And usually when we round, you make the number easier depending on what we're rounding to. So let's write this down. Um, round, <coughs> let's do 7,386 to the nearest, we'll put a whole bunch of things down here. Uh, let's go to the nearest thousand to the nearest hundred to the nearest 10 and to the nearest whole number. If I ask you to round that number to the nearest thousand, okay, if I have 7,386, when I say round it to the nearest thousand, that means I am eliminating anything except the thousands place. So you have to think about this. If you were Counting by thousands, where would 7,386 fall? Well, the nearest thousand less than that is 7,000, and the thousand that's greater than that is 8,000. You know that 7,386 has to fall between those, and you're trying to find the one that it's nearest to. Well, what do you know? Halfway, exactly halfway between 7,000 and 8,000 is 7,500, right? 7386, where does it fall on that number line? Is it going to be up here or down here? Down here on the lower side. So you know that it is nearer or closest to 7,000. So round it to the nearest thousand, it's going to be 7,000. What really, if you're doing this problem, what really tells you whether you round it down or up? You always look at the digit that comes after the one you're actually rounding. So if I'm rounding to the thousandths, I look at the next digit, and that's a three. If that digit is five or less, I'm sorry, four or less, I'm going to round here. If it is five or bigger, going over there. That's exciting, isn't it? What about to the nearest hundred? What are my two answers, possible answers, for rounding 7,386 to the nearest hundred? If you're counting by hundreds, which we really do, what are your two choices? Either it's going to be 7,300 or it's going to be 7,400, correct? Those are my two hundreds choices. Which one is it closer to? Jules? 7,400. And why? Because of this... Eight right here it means it's going to be much closer to that 7,400. What about to the nearest 10? What are my two choices, first of all? If I'm rounding 7,386 to the nearest 10, Drew, my two choices are 7,400. If I were counting by tens, 
which I won't make you do because we're taking long time to get there. What are my two choices? 7,386 is either going to become what or what? Either 7,000 or No, no, that's counting by thousands. Hundreds, we got to 7,300 to 7,400. Now we're in the tens. Look at the one in the tens place, which is the... Either 90 or 80. Correct. It's either going to be 7,380 or 7,390 by the next tens. And which one will it be? Drew. Right, because of this six, it's going to make it more than halfway. This is going to be 7,390. And then what it says round to the nearest whole number, actually, I guess you can't do that, can you? So it has to be a decimal, though. Let's make it a decimal just for fun. What if this was 0.2? When it says nearest whole number, that means the units for the ones place. If you had this, your choice is either it's going to be 7,386 or 7,387. Which one would it be? Looking at this decimal point two. <coughs> Isabel says 7,386. All right, let's look at a couple things here then. Uh, 79 rounded to the nearest tens is what, Danny? 79 rounded to the nearest hundred is what? The nearest hundred, Brooklyn. Oh, look at that. What about 3,008 rounded to the nearest ten? Rounded to the nearest ten. Brianna? 3,010. What about to the nearest 100? 3,008 round to the nearest 100. Emily? Nope. What's that? Did you say just 3,000? Yeah, yep, just 3,000. Because in the hundreds place is this, this is a zero and actually it's all a mistake. So. Perfect. Now, take out a blank piece of paper. 